Hello and welcome. My name is Chris Zerbrig, and in this series of tutorials, I will be continuing the QT journey by exploring some of the more interesting and advanced functionality and techniques available to developers using PySci2 in Maya. Having completed the first volume in this series, you should have a solid foundation for creating straightforward, user-friendly UIs in Maya. For many tools, this knowledge should be more than sufficient. However, as the complexity of a tool increases, additional work and functionality needs to be put into the user interface to maintain a user-friendly workflow. This can include anything from dragging and dropping, docking, for example, to Maya's main UI, custom widgets built entirely from the ground up, storing user settings, special event handling, style sheets, and more. PySide 2 for Maya, Volume 2, will dive into each of these subjects and much more. In addition to one-off topics, many projects will be used to create real-world tools that explore new subjects and reinforce existing knowledge. By the end of this series, viewers should be comfortable working with PySide 2 inside of Maya and be able to create some truly robust and feature-rich user interfaces.